In this video, we'll talk about log returns. Now, log returns are very common in finance. They tend to be used for financial time series. First, I changed my working directory. I use an insheet command to obtain a Bitcoin time series, which I used in other videos. Um, I then generate a time dimension using the underscore n method, which is just basically counting observations, and then I declare the time series using the tset command. And as you know from previous videos, um, I can then have access to time series operator. Next, I will generate a normal return, which is simply the change in price divided by the previous value. And then I generate a log return. I have done another video on logarithmic functions and E functions, and also I went more deeply into continuous compounding. So next I generate the normal return, which is the change in price using the time series operator d dot divided by the previous value of the closing price, which refers to L dot using the leg operator. Then I also create the log return, which refers to the ln of the current closing price minus the ln of the previous closing price. And finally, I compare using the two-way chart option the kernel density. So this looks at the distribution of the two returns and just check how similar, how different are they. As you can see, um, visually inspecting the distributions, they look very, very similar. Now looking into the data set and comparing the two time series of returns, you see that they don't really match perfectly. There is a difference, and this difference um, tends to get bigger the higher in absolute value the return is. In most financial time series, um, these differences, they don't really matter that much. However, in the case of Bitcoin, it actually matters because Bitcoin um, exhibits a very high level of volatility. So finally, I want to look at um, fat tails, so the kurtosis of the two returns. So I use the summarize command and I use the detail option. And as you can see, when you look at the median, it looks very, very similar. However, once you go to the extremes, the differences become quite apparent. In many applications, the log returns um, tend to behave a little bit better in terms of the distribution. It tends to be more focused. However, in the case of Bitcoin, because of high volatility, the differences um, can be a bit more than you would expect. Finally, I do some box plots just to compare the two. And um, here you can clearly see an outlier, so a significant drop in value, which leads to um, quite um, a significant difference between the log return and the normal return. Finally, if you remove the outliers um, using the no out um, command, um, you um, see that um, in fact um, they look very much alike. There's no big difference in this case. So the main um, difference occurs in the extremes. I see you in the next one.